YouTube and welcome to lesson 11 of the Microsoft PowerPoint tutorial series and today we're going to look at the slide layout inside of Microsoft PowerPoint. So over here you can see that I got four slides. I can actually choose a design. So over here I'm going to choose a design so that a template is applied. Uh, I guess this one is more interesting so I'm going to apply this. And you can see that a certain designs has been applied. If I want to make some changes to the slides, what I can actually do is you can see that I have a title over here. I can go back on to home. I can go into layout and I can go to title and content and the layout has been changed. The information has been maintained. If I were to change something over here, I want to create some new slide of my own. I can actually resize this and I can actually um, insert another text box just like this. So you can do that, but if you want to choose the same layout in other slide, you have to copy and paste this by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V, which is tedious if you're working with a lot of slides. So usually, like if things are changed, you can actually reset the slide and you can see that the size of this uh, placeholder has been changed. And if I want to placeholder, I can simply change it out. I can go to layout and let's say I want content with caption and you can see that now this has been nicely rearranged. But what I want to do is I want to create my own template. So for that I need to edit my master slide. So I'm going to go into my view menu and I'm going to go into slide master. So over here I can insert a layout and you can see that a new layout has been inserted and I'm going to insert a placeholder. So it's under the menu of the slide master. So insert the placeholder. I'm going to say text, which is going to be at the center, just like this. And I'm going to go back to slide master over here. I'm going to insert another placeholder and that's going to be a smart art. All right. So this is going to be a smart art holder. And I'm going to insert another one over here. Go to slide master, insert placeholder. And this is going to be a picture right over here. So we don't have a three column uh, slide. So now we have it over here. So I'm going to go into slide master and you can see that now I can actually arrange this however I want. So this is the master text style. So I'm going to go into my format menu. So going to go into home over here, change its color. And maybe I want to remove the pointer. I want to center align it and align the text into middle. So I can actually do that. I can go back to slide master for the option. I can even change uh, background styles and everything else. So whatever you change is actually here. So right, uh, if you were to see it, you can actually see that now I can even rename the layout. So if I were to rename, you can see that there's the custom layout. I'm going to name it tutor2. Don't bother saving it because it is going to be saved in the slide file itself. So I'm going to rename this out and then close the master view. Let's say I want to apply it over here. I can simply go out into layout and there you go. There's uh, actually my tutor tube slide uh, right there. So just go to layout. You can see that the tutor tube uh, layout is there, which is have been created. Simply click on it and you can see that that has been applied and the texts are reformatted according to what I had in the slide master. So if I want to create a new slide, I can simply go over here and then select tutor tube and there you go. I have the blank content with the same information. So you can see that it is quite easy to create slide layout and manage layout inside of Microsoft PowerPoint. Hope you guys learned something as always and as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.